Hello YouTube. Um, I want to talk to you. I haven't put up a lot of political type videos, but I put up a video yesterday and it garnered some backlash. Most of it nice. Uh, I think the I, I have no idea how this has happened. Uh, video must have got copied, put somewhere else because I've gotten a lot of responses from some Facebook friends and folks on Twitter. Uh, somehow or another, I even got a couple of messages on our Instagram about the video I put up yesterday morning. And it was about police becoming the the new criminal gang and they are and uh, again most of the feedback I got was uh, you know the kindergarten stuff uh, from the people that are not great critical thinkers and no offense to them but I kept getting message after message. Well, there was a hero here. Uh, there was a policeman killed over here. Uh, a, a policeman went into the Walmart and, and got shot trying to st stop a thief. Uh, uh, and these things happen, and we don't condone none of that, obviously. Uh, hating on those police officers who have died or been injured or have been heroic in the line of duty. But we're going to go there since everybody, uh, or since a, a portion or a segment of feedback I got, uh, and why nobody's leaving YouTube comments, I don't know. I got more uh, uh, personal messages on different sites and uh emails I even got talking uh, uh, about the video so I don't know what's going on there I'm not a big online computer guy uh, I'll leave that at that my techno technological knowledge with the computers is kindergarten-esque in itself but uh, as I said, I got some feedback from non-critical thinkers uh, and really no offense to anyone, but the non-critical thinker is exactly the, the person of why we're in the situation we are today. And I want to explain. I've never been a defund the police kind of guy. Uh, I'm a former chairman within the Republican Party in my home state. Uh, I ran for U.S. Congress. Uh, I was narrowly defeated, so I had huge confidence of people in my state uh, within the party and uh, from many Democrats because uh, Years ago when I did run for office, you could have looked at uh, my website when websites were becoming the thing. We put one up and you could go down the list. And years later, a guy came along in 2016 and you, if you went down the list of his website, he was saying the exact things I was saying a decade before or maybe a little longer than a decade before. And that was Donald Trump. And uh, I knew, well, first off, I liked listening to him. I liked that he was bucking the authority. I liked that he was challenging the systems. And uh, I really respected that. And uh, so I'm not some left-wing crackpot over here. Uh, I'm by no means one of these people that are 
if you're a man and you would love to have a child, you can. You have to think it in your head and get some hormones. That, that shit don't fly with me. Uh, I, I try to believe in no, non, no nonsense, common sense things. And I'm an older guy, so I look around at the world at, and I'm shocked. Uh, one good thing about it, nobody over 50 uh, sent me anything negative. That was all positive because I suppose that even if you if you if you're 50 years old, you're a lot younger than I am, but uh, you still got a chance to grow up in a world uh, where police and government were not so overwhelming. And I will challenge you, you very same people. The police were the ones that were, uh, during the big, the pandemic, I guess I can say that word. Uh, and, and you can't say words now. So, but I'm going to try to get into all this. There's so much crap to, to unpack in this. But uh, I grew up in a world where you made your own decisions. Uh, your mom and dad made the decisions for the kid. Uh, schools never did. Uh, I grew up in a world where your local community decided what you would be taught and what you would not. I grew up in a world before there were all these teachers unions and these uh uh, where your elected education people and your education councils uh, were not bombarded uh, by the national council and being bribed and being bought out and all this evil shit that goes on today with education. I grew up in a world where your body was your body, yet if you had another body growing inside of you, you couldn't just go down to the local corner and kill it. Uh, we knew better. I grew up in a world where first thing we did in the morning was uh, pledge allegiance to the flag and pray to God until they took it. And it's amazing they did all this shit basically at one time, as I remember as a kid. Uh, everything happened right quickly in succession. And, uh, and during that time, we were fighting a war in a little place over in the Far East. And we ended up having 50,000 young boys come back in boxes and then we got up and hightailed and ran away and ran out of that there and fled and then the world got a little bit better and uh, we're right back to that era 2.0 right now it's that error on steroids, the bad things I just mentioned, not the good ones. And all along the line of this, all this COVID bullshit, all this masking up, people taken to jail, law enforcement officers not letting you in to see your dying mother or father, all the crazy voodoo science, uh, I saw a president uh, on television telling me, hey, get these three products and take them and that's going to be your best chance at surviving this thing if you get it. We got it. We took those three medicines and skated right through the damn thing. Uh, sick for six, seven days. And it didn't feel good, but we got right through it. I'm living overseas. I sat and watched the television back home. 
and and people crying can't even get in the uh, hospital to see a dying uh, parent. Uh, elderly people shut up and sealed in uh, nursing homes, taking sick people and put them into nursing homes to kill off the nursing home population because it costs the state money. And all the while I saw police, the big arm, the gun to the machine, protecting and serving and doing the, the, the bidding of the machine. So excuse me for not wanting to go crazy and start crying over uh, some hero cops that have gotten shot. I do feel bad for them. I, I hurt more for their families. Uh, but I'm not going to put them in sainthood because they were in the gang. And it's as simple as that. Did you watch the program Cops? Uh, yeah, back when I was a kid, you never heard a cop swear. You just didn't hear it. Uh uh, cops on a, they're on their own camera. They know they're going to be seen by the public eventually. Fuck this dude. Fuck that dude. Fuck this. Fuck that. They're a married band of uh, gang members. They have no cooth, no decency about them. Uh, uh, the majority of them are. are psychopathic nutcases that have came back from wars. I feel kind of like I can say something about that, that I was uh, raised for a good bit of time by a full bird colonel uh, who fought in three wars and had two purple hearts, uh, two bronze stars, one with valor. Yeah, I feel like I can talk. We've had family members killed in every single war since the Revolutionary War. So I, I feel like I can say something. See, I love my uncle and my fam other family members, all those boys. When my dad and all those boys fought in war, my dad was the youngest. He fought in Korea. Now, I wouldn't necessarily uh, want all of them, there are several of them that I, I would say, no, you don't need to be on the police force out here policing other people uh, here back home. So don't hand me I'm not patriotic bullshit. I don't want to hear it. I'm a guy that woke the hell up. And I'm the guy that exposed USAID uh, waste and fraud as an investigator, folks. So I've done some things in my life. I've done a whole lot of interesting things. My, my life has been so up and down and in and out. And, uh, but as I got older, I, I started opening my eyes. Because everywhere I looked, it, 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 it bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Corruption, corruption, corruption. Illegal, illegal, illegal. Everywhere. And it's a cotton-picking shame. And it's, it's, it's this evilness has infiltrated the churches, your local police department, your county sheriff's department, your uh, county commissioner's office, your mayor's office, your... Uh, uh, state House, State Senate, Governor's Office, on up to the White House. It's everywhere. No matter the party. Because they're a clog in the system. Even the ones that really are good uh, don't have ill intentions in their hearts. Have horse blinders on and can't see. Can't see past the nose on their face. Uh Hero cop down there in Florida. Let's talk hero cops. Uh, I'll give you one example. There's a hero cop down in uh, uh, in Florida. That Vidler cop down there. 
Uh, he goes into that gay bar that the guy went in and shot up here a few years ago. Uh, he goes in there, sneaks in there, and gets shoots. I, I believe shoots the guy in the back, and all of a sudden he's this big gigantic hero. And uh, 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 let's yeah, we're, yeah, we'll talk about hero cops. So this guy goes out. And you can watch all this online. This is half you probably know about it. There's this idiot, Jeremy DeWitt, that was living down there in his area in the county. And this Vidler guy takes it upon himself to go on a moral crusade against this one guy. And he ended up breaking the law going after the one guy repeatedly, repeatedly. And what you get is the idiot... Uh, cop impersonator body camming himself doing bad things and the idiot hero deputy body camera and himself doing bad things as they're battling against one another well they come out and they get this Vindler guy and it turns out they have to go back hundreds of cases back from where he's put people in jail and done all this stuff and, uh, done, and put people in jail illegally the hero, see? So they're all packed in the same. It's a psychology thing now. It's a cancer that you'll never get out of these police de policing departments. I, I, I have no idea how we'll get America out of that and get policing back to some decency. When I was a kid, it used to be that bad policing was something that only took place in Chicago, Boston, and New York. That's the only place you'd ever hear of it. Now you can live in the smallest, most sparsely populated county in New Mexico or Nevada. And the, the same evil controlling cop that doesn't care about our constitutional republic or the paper that the constitution's written on controlling and overreaching the law not to get bad guys just to get anybody to get anybody and that's the psychology that I'm trying to shoot forth with on that uh, folks if you have done went through this COVID crap seen all this mess that's happened uh, Lord God Almighty wake up did you not see them put the sick people with the elderly and other sick killing off so many people did you not see the whole medical establishment come forward and start incubating these people is when they stick the thing, the tube down in you and breathe for you uh, out of a damn box where all the bad stuff going out is coming right back in your body, inhibiting your body from healing, killing thousands of people, thousands of people, taking that wrong advice and putting these people in these comas until they just and putting them on a machine so they really don't have to deal with them and them just dying and attacking a president that says take hydroxychloroquine see I'm lucky I went down to the drugstore and got the azithromycin the hydroxychloroquine and the zinc and that's what we took when we got sick and we got better but yet there were people around us, even here, that got took to the hospital. Uh, they got put in the comas and put on the ventilation system and died. They weren't given that medicine. And let me tell you what I did. I almost got locked up here in Columbia because I, I was down at the hospital for my daughter. And I started saying, and I started saying the words, you people need to get hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin and a combo pack and zinc and, and, and take your chances that way. Coming in here, your chances greatly decrease that you're coming back out. 
and they got the law on me. Uh, I didn't shut up, though. See, that's probably the difference between me and yourself. Um, I've done a lot of things. I fought for kids. I, I put 35 pounds on my back and walked 21 days up, up some of the most beautiful yet difficult mountains in the Indies. Uh, uh, walking across this country. A feat that Latinos themselves said, you'll never make it, you'll die. And I did that, and I did that as an older adult as myself. So I've done a lot of things. So, uh, And people coming on and accusing me of a defund guy, a defund the police guy, I'm about there, yeah. I, I do believe certain departments need to be defunded, but I don't, I don't believe it should be a racial thing. And let me tell you something. If you're black, you get to see if a black person gets shot and killed, whether they have killed eight people or not, and then you get told, hey, this is a travesty. Uh, let me tell you what we get to see as whites. Zero. Nothing. They can come down the street and shoot a pregnant white mother and the shit won't even make the TV. You, they can go out and kill a black guy that's just raped a woman and killed the baby inside her and slit her husband's throat and a cop kills that guy and that guy's all of a sudden the victim. You know, So that's the difference of the race thing going on. And it's the truth. I'm telling the truth here. I, I'm old. I there ain't nothing uh, bullshit with me. There's no black person I want to hurt out there. I got no gain from it. Uh, and I don't think no black people out there want to get on me. What are they going to gain? I'm an old white man. Uh, and I will say this. Most of my online friends... Uh, and, and friends that we do associate with are uh, black people or descendants of blacks and they're mixed. I catch more hell from white people than I do anybody. So I'm just, just being I'm just being honest here. So I know I'm going to ramble here, but the police have turned into damn henchmen and big, huge gangs with their blue and green colors. They have been militarized. They have brought thousands and thousands of soldiers back that are psychologically damaged, that are narcissistic. You want to you want to find the occupation with the biggest number of psychopathic narcissists in any profession in the United States. You go look at policing, you'll find it. You'll find it. Uh, I'll also give you something else, non-related, but it is to public service. Most of you damn arsonists arsonist out here are firemen or, or were former firemen. They get their rocks off on seeing shit burn down. And half of that gets kept out of the news. Well, he was a former volunteer fireman down here two counties over. Shh, no, don't say that. So there's a lot of them that need to get looked at too. Look, folks, I, I, I'm a former chairman in the GOP. Uh, I ran for office. I've been politically inclined for decades and decades uh, I, I was blinded by my own party I, I've been blinded at times by the other party I've been blinded by all of uh, government mess and about 12 or 15 years ago I started waking up and it took quite some time to get to my own and look at my own and see how messed up they are. Thank God Almighty that at least the Republican Party 
right now is standing up against the establishment cronies in there and trying to get rid of these pieces of trash. But you've still got one half of the segment over there in that other party that just damned to hell. You can tell them that they can start calling their kids Martians and they're Martians. They'll believe anything they're told. They're pathetic. And they are the ones that in the Book of Romans, they said, would blind. The newsflash, there's a lot of our guys that God's going to blind too. And I make a concerted effort. I tell my son every day, uh, boy, we got to hope and pray that we're not one of the ones that's blinded, that we can see. And uh, he at 15 makes a concerted effort to try to see in, in everything. So I just wanted to put this out. Uh, I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to be made feel guilty from kindergarten psychology. Well, there's a hero over here and a hero. We're all stocked up on heroes in this family that died in wars. We got two sitting sheriffs in this family. Uh, one of which you may have saw on TV, uh, second cousin, not closely related, down there standing up against the governor saying, hell no, I'm not taking no guns away from people. It's breaking the constitution of the state and the uh, federal government. And those are things we do. Those are things we do. And uh, you, you go back with us and this is what you get. It's the strength we draw upon. Uh, you go back to the 19 teens and uh, I'm directly descended from people that uh, shot a courthouse up, shot a judge, and the state of Virginia was uh, in so in, in fear of it, they had to call the National Guard in on the folks I'm descendants from. So, uh, uh, we come from fighters. We come from people that want to stand up. And I have, look, I, that's why I gave a warning to young people because there are so many good young people that want to go and become cops. And I do, I'm look out. It's the worst profession you can get into right now. It, it will steal your very salvation. And all of eternity will be fouled for you. So if you, if you get into policing, you need to be very, very strong. And uh, I've been trying to stay away from political stuff, but I've seen tens of thousands, and they are on YouTube every day for you fools that need to care enough to go look where the police are in overreach and breaking laws constantly in their gang nature. And in their gang system. Hurting senior citizens. So no, I don't want to talk about hero, two or three heroes a month. When there's 10,000 elderly people getting smacked around and beat up and killed by these goons. It take and pedal that trash some down more else because we're all stocked up on that here. I, I don't mean to really be offendful, but... Uh, uh, I, you know, I just don't want to hear bullshit. You know, I got so many emails about, well, what about the heroes? And those were the nice emails, by the way. The other people are gone. You know, the, the abrasive stuff, they're gone. They're blocked. They're gone. I, I could care less. And uh, uh, that's just the way it is. I don't care. I'm old. I don't care. I, with what time I got remaining, I'm going to shout the truth from the rooftops. I don't give a damn what anybody thinks about it. Anybody. Uh, and that's the way it's going to continue to be. And uh, for those of you that sat back and say, shh, and are silent, uh, you're as criminalistic as the bastards that are out here doing this stuff. You're as much of a piece of a shit as the people out here doing bad things. If 
you're sitting in, in your house you and you strong man and uh, you got a bunch of thieves running around stealing everybody's stuff and you too much of a coward to even go out there and, and give a warning to your neighbors yeah you're a piece of trash you piece of shit's what you are how about that I just call it right out I don't have to be nice no more I'm not seeking votes I'm not worried about any of these high-powered jobs that I've had in the past. I don't give a damn no more. I'm going to tell the truth. And uh, we'll try to get back onto our boxing with concerns to these videos. But, uh, you know, my big fear is my son will run up on one of these sons of bitches, one of these bad cops, uh, and him get hurt. Or my daughter, who is in Canada right now, that maybe she gets hurt. That's a big fear of mine. You know, and uh, your chances are greater nowadays of being abused, getting abused, killed, uh, beat up, falsely accused, and slung in a jail by police than by a criminal, than by a street criminal. So, yeah, it bothers me. It worries me. And if you're a parent, you need to wake the hell up. I mean, ain't nothing difficult about it. Nothing at all. And we've helped police here in boxing and self-defense and stuff like that. I don't trust those bastards. They say, but if you need anything, I'll be right there. No, those bastards won't. They're liars. They are trained to lie. And it's okay for them to lie. And they think that God's okay with it. Because the state is their God. And boy, there's a lot of confusion going on. Wake the hell up, people. Wake the hell up.